Hello, I'm Kristen Lee. We went to Tanglewood to see a taping of Wait Wait Don't Tell Me. I do not know anything about the uh, the NPR broadcast show at all. I just wanted to go to Tanglewood and I, I love how beautiful it is. I love how it just it's in the middle of nowhere and I love that um it doesn't matter where you are or what seat you have or if you're just walking the grounds you can still hear what's going on and you don't have that like echoey sound so here's my little adventure that I went off on my own and check things out and I'll tell you what I thought about our night See you in a minute. It's great to be back at Tanglewood. You laugh to yourself, and I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. La, 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 la. My God, I think I might be in love. Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city. You'll never feel alone as long as you're with So that was. Tanglewood. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I just love that space to go and see any kind of show. Um, my other favorite venue in upstate, well, I don't know if it's considered upstate New York, but Bethel Woods, where Woodstock was held, it also has amazing acoustics wherever you are, and it's, it's so cool. So if you have the chance to go to either one of these venues i highly recommend it um even if you're like iffy about it you should go and i'm trying to think like i said i don't know much about the show but i was laughing from start to finish um they did a q a at the end uh miriam or i think that's how you say it from indiana jones that's how i know karen karen allen I'll put her name here, <laughs> but I, I didn't know what she'd been up to or anything like that. And she lives in, um, the area and they had a housewife, like one of the housewives from the show and she canceled last minute. So they needed somebody and 
this person was in town and it was it was really cool and it was really cool like to get involved with like the phone calls and stuff because I, I had no idea what was going to happen um but i knew that my friends absolutely love this show um some of them tune in every week and they do their saturday morning whatever you know to uh to pass the time they listen to that so that was pretty cool to watch them react to different people that they loved and um yeah it was, it was really cool and then in Tanglewood you're allowed to bring anything in to the venue so Danielle had packed a table and a candelabra and <laughs> all these things right my friends um they had oh god they had a table as well with like subs i think they had and another friend she brought drinks like mixed drinks and then on the grounds they had food they had drinks they had ice cream um yeah it was a really cool night and leaving i, I thought it was going to be a nightmare because um one of the local places that I used to go to when I lived in, in upstate New York is um, the Saratoga Performing Arts Center, or we call it SPAC. And if we had that kind of traffic coming out, we wouldn't be getting home for like hours because where that traffic started went all the way to the highway. And it wasn't the case with this. So it was really cool. Um, Danielle drove. My contribution to dinner was my favorite, I think it's Mediterranean food. It was so good. It's called Alibaba's. It is fantastic. And I, I even got the baklava and it was, oh my gosh, perfect. So yeah, that was my little trip to Tanglewood and yeah, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.